now, I just want to take you guys to the elephant where Tandiwe Yego is live. And of course, first of all, I just want to apologize because as earlier on advertised, uh, Miss Karun and Barack Jacuzzi were supposed to make it to the studio, but due to unavoidable circumstances, they bailed out last minute. And uh, due to the same reasons, we could not be able to get in touch with them. And we hope you're going to get a chance to just interact with their music next week. And of course, as we continue, I just want to bring the music into the studio. Or rather, I want to take you to where Tandiwe is in that you get to where the music Music is and Tandiwe Yego. I don't know if you can hear me right now. I just want you to tell us what's going down. She's she's interviewing Tetu Shani, and I'm telling you, Tetu Shani is one of the best artists in the planet. And I'm telling you, Tandiwe, just talk to us about Tetu Shani and tell us how is it first of all talking to him? Is he right there? Can I talk to him? Can I see him? Brian, he's standing right here next to me. And in the background, you can hear Sage Chamutai. She's currently on stage. She's performing a beautiful, beautiful melody, Brian. The vibe is absolutely right. Everyone is feeling it. And everyone is having a good time, Brian. So let's talk to Tetu and see how he's feeling about this event. Hi, Tetu. Hi, Tandiwe. How are you feeling Hi. tonight? I'm feeling excited. First of all, you're looking absolutely fabulous. I can see that you're ready for the weather in your poncho. I underestimated. By the way, it's winning. The cold is winning. I'm losing. Yeah. So tell us a bit what we should expect from you tonight and your performance. I'm going to do a beautiful acoustic performance tonight. Uh, you know, it's a beautiful night. Apparently there's a lunar eclipse happening later. The vibe is right. So I said, let me just do something simple, something sweet, something intimate. And are you a fan yourself of Eric Wayne? I know it's been almost six years since we saw an album from him and now Dreams and Stereo is coming out. How do you feel about that and having a chance to be here as a part of the launch of something so amazing? Well, you know, Eric is an inspiration to all of us. I mean, he's a pioneer in so many different ways. For me as a singer-songwriter, in fact, there are people who tell me that they, I remind them of him. So it's an honor to be here and to be a part of this. Yeah. Tetu, so for those people who've never really heard your music or don't know who Tetu is, can you please describe for the audience what your sound is and what kind of music it is that you do? My music is eclectic, it's intimate, it's fun, it's heartfelt, it's soulful, it's Tetu. It's Tetu, you heard that, it's eclectic, it's him. And he is uh, going back on stage right now, he's rushing to go and perform, he is up next. And of course, we're going to have Sage Chemitai, she's just coming down from the stage. And as you can see, the stage is looking absolutely fabulous. I don't know if we can get a shot of the lighting, it all looks so amazing. Everyone is having a good time. And it is absolutely amazing. We can see the, the lighting fixtures. We can see the traditional setting that we have here. People sitting on haystacks, enjoying their drinks, enjoying their meals. And Tetu Shani is on a stage right now. It's about to get heated. So we're going to try and look and see if we can get another artist to interview around here. I can see Fee. She's sitting right there in the crowd. You all know and love her. So we're going to go and take a look and say hi to Fee. Hey, Fee. <laughs> she's ready. She says oh she's not God. dressed, but she's looking absolutely hey. gorgeous. This is the gorgeous and amazing fiasco. Fiasco, how are you feeling about I'm, this event? Tonight? I'm good. I'm happy. I'm enjoying. I love the fact that people have come out to support, to watch. I'm having a ball, and it's Eric Wainaina, man. We all want to be Eric at some point in our lives. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And how are you feeling about this being his first album in six years? It's huge. First and six? Six years. Oh, wow. Yes. I, I thought uh, Love and Protest was like in the far future. But wow. it's, yeah. I mean, I've always been a stand for Eric. And so wow. whenever Eric releases something, it's like Kanye. Yeah. So, yeah, we are, we're stoked. So, so what are you yeah. expecting from so this night and from so all the performances from all the I always come to concerts to learn. Mm -hmm. So I'm always here taking notes and I'm like, what are they doing? How did they write the song? So for me, it's always like I'm coming to school. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Have years. a great night. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to catch you again. <laughs> Thank you. Definitely. Thank you. Bye. All right, Brian. And you are seeing the vibe here. Everyone is so excited. I'm excited myself. And I cannot wait to see Eric Wainaina perform and officially launch Dreams in Stereo. Back to you, Brian.
And of course, I really want to be there at Andiwe Yego. Thank you very much for just uh, making sure that we get a hold of Fee. And of course, I'm a big fan of Fee, the fiasco going round. And of course, right now, I just want to make sure that you get to understand that Andiwe Yego is live at Lovington at the Elephant. And of course, Fee, Fee has already said that everyone at some point wants to be like Eric Wainaina. Daima Mimim Kenya, one of the most patriotic people I can talk about. And of course, he's a singer, songwriter, and of course, recording engineer, graduate from Berkeley College of music in Boston and of course <laughs> it's super an amazing and right now we just want to come back uh, Kidogo and of course there's an up and rising artist this guy is a philanthropist he is also a photographer he likes telling stories through pictures and of course if you want to get to know about the Kenyan story you have to get it right here if you're out there and you'd like someone to be featured on Art Corner the hashtag is youth Cafe. And of course, tag me at Brian underscore Selly at Tandiwe underscore Yego at KTN News. And of course, right now, I just want you to take a look at this young and upcoming artist that is a photographer, Isaac Biose. <laughs> this week on Art Corner, we go one on one with Isaac Biose a young philanthropist and photographer with the urge of telling the African story. My name is Isaac Biose. I'm a photographer and also the founder of Aboki Foundation. I also work at Shortlist under Applicant Care. Um, photography is just me trying to tell stories, um, tell the African stories the way I view them. And personally, just after a few years, even if I'm not on Earth, um, my pictures will tell the story. I have been shooting for a while now. I've been shooting since primary school, but actively for the past one year. I've been calling myself a photographer without a camera, um, all in faith. Um, I'd also borrow cameras from friends and just go out there and shoot. And so actively I've been shooting for the past one year. For me, photography is life. I, I feel like we can tell stories through pictures, even if you weren't there, even in those times. Like for me, I, I really look up to someone like Muhammad Ali, and when looking back at his pictures, I also wish that I was there during those times, getting those actions, the, getting those hits, and telling historical moments. And that, that for me is what made me push to do photography. I'd also look at stories. For me, I like political and news stories. I'd see stories out there, um, guys being tear gassed and I feel like that's the right place for me to be. I want to tell such stories because um, people might see things not the way I see them and I want to show them the way I see them. Like there's this time when Kenya was being called a hotbed of terrorism and I was like that's not the Kenya I know. Even if there are issues that are going on I can tell these stories in a different and a better way. I always say my next project is my best project. Um, I don't dwell on the past things that I've done, um, but the highlight for me this year was shooting for Reuters. Um, they gave me a chance to shoot for them, and I woke up one morning and I saw my pictures all over the world, from CNN to Wall Street Journal. Um, the following morning, opened the newspapers, it was on standard. I cried literally in the office. Um, that opened doors for me. I was able to shoot concerts for Mr. Easy, Rick Cross, Kaspar Novest, um, um, recently Chronix. I'm also looking forward to shooting Fali Pupa and, and who's this nasty C? And God willing, if the terminal weekend is going on well, I'll shoot Kerry Hilson and Big Shark. What I'd say is that the youth should also be patient in things that they want to achieve in life. Um, Especially in the creative space and industry, everyone wants to achieve everything um, all at once. There's no patience. Like for me, I've, I've done a lot of freelance work, and I can attest that it does. At the end, it it paid. You get like, I'm saying as a career, I kitoka tuinje the job to nikipiga job ntapata do. But it's not always that. At times, you just have to send yourself out there, get pictures, and when you post them, people are like, we love your pictures, we love your work. You get, and also the same people who see these things are the people who will refer to you to other gigs. So let's always be patient and also let's put God first in everything. For me, um, 
that's my number one rule. Before I leave the house, before I start shooting, I always put God in every of my plans. I actually love dancing. I dance a lot. Um, and I also sing in the bathroom, but I love dancing a lot. The way our parents have raised us, and um, for me, like, I think I was really beaten. And I think even if I'd, I'd go out there, I, I would, I'd, I'd really advocate for <laughs> children not being beaten. Um, I really went through hell back then, but I think my parents being as strict and also more disciplinarians also kind of helped me, but I have seen people being beaten and... And of course, that is Isaac Biosi. You gotta love that guy. Of course, I'm in Yorosha Viboko, and of course, he wouldn't advise that uh, Wazazi Wakein or I was asking him on a very short preview that uh, what's his take on Kiboko Kurudishwa in the country and of course in the schools. He <laughs> wouldn't like that. And of course, that is Isaac Biosi doing a great job. And of course, as we speak, he's already shot Nasty C. If I get the clips, I'm gonna make sure that you get an opportunity to just see some of the uh, photos he actually took. And right about now, we're going for a short break. When we come back, we shall be giving you the best in entertainment news. So don't you touch that dial hashtag youth cafe CCR short break.